Organized criminals have long invested in legitimate businesses, both as a base of operations and as a means of laundering money from illicit activities such as drug trafficking, arms dealing, prostitution, smuggling, counterfeiting, and robbery. Today we have listed the 10 most common types of businesses controlled by the Mafia. Number 10. Car Washing a job that doesn't require any training has the perfect conditions to offer it to poor people in poor countries with the promise of a better life. Just a promise. An example is the mafia family who lured people to Britain and placed them in appalling conditions washing pots and cars, earning a pittance, or sentenced to jail. Over a nine-year period, the family of five from Slovakia enticed vulnerable or homeless Eastern Europeans with the promise of a job, accommodation, and a better life. They pledged salaries of 344 pounds a week, but upon their arrival in central England, the victims were forced to work for more than 80 hours a week and pay just 27 pennies per hour. Number 9. Garbage Hauling and Waste Management the connection between the garbage hauling industry and organized crime goes back decades. In the U.S., La Cosa Nostra has been part of New York's commercial sanitation system since the 1950s. Still, the Mafia presence persists. As recently as January 2013, 30 people were indicted for extortion in New York City. The group included members and associates of the three different mob crews, the Gambino, Genovese, and Lucchese families, all connected to the garbage hauling business. While mob involvement in garbage collection in New York City has declined, it still continues in other places like Philadelphia and New Jersey. Number 8. Construction The Mafia made its way into the building business through unions. Typically, construction companies make bids for jobs that include union crews. Mafia-run construction companies are known to include union rates in the bids and win the contracts, then pay far less to their workers. Inside the union, Mafia cronies get the top jobs, shake down the legitimate crews, and sell jobs to the highest bidders. Mafia-linked subcontractors continue to build projects in Manhattan, including the Freedom Tower at the World Trade Center. And in 2021, nearly a dozen alleged members of the Gambino family pled guilty to a construction bribery scheme involving a luxury condo tower and other projects. Number 7. Wind Energy In countries across Europe, criminals are investing in wind farms and other types of green energy as a way to launder dirty money. In fact, a growing eco-mafia in Italy is taking advantage of environmental grants offered by the Italian government and the European Union by entering the wind business. A combination of factors makes wind power attractive to criminals. There is a lack of regulation in the industry, a high price for the product, complicated financing, and government subsidies. One mobster who was sentenced in 2018 told officials that he had more than a million dollars earmarked for regional authorities to get permits for new wind farms, and that he would make about $17 million. Number 6. Real Estate The Mafia might not exactly control real estate, but mobsters do like to invest in property. And when there's easy money to be made in real estate, it's even easier to find a Mafia connection with a scam. An example is Dominic DeVito, now connected to the Genovese family. During the run-up to the housing bubble in 2008, and after the subsequent crash, he was finding new ways to make bad deals for homeowners. He and his associates lied to get the mortgages, then used the new homes as collateral for more mortgages, which eventually went into foreclosure. But not before they cashed in on some insurance money for things like broken pipes. Number 5. Restaurants and Pizzerias the Mafia is connected to some delicious restaurants. Even the lesser-known mob spots like Porticale Restaurant and Bar in Newark, New Jersey, allegedly the former base of money laundering operations for more than $400 million brought in by the Genovese family, supposedly serves really delicious meals. Today, mob-run pizzerias and restaurants are everywhere, 
and it's estimated that at least 25,000 restaurants are run by the Mafia in the U.S. alone. Number 4. Bars As early as the 1930s, when homosexuality was illegal in the U.S., Mafia-connected establishments were around to provide gay and lesbian customers a place to meet, mingle, and spend money. At one point, the Mafia had a monopoly on gay bars in New York City, and probably operated similar establishments in other cities around the country. There are likely still Mafia members connected to gay bars and clubs in cities across the U.S., but the LGBTQ community today isn't reliant on the mob's subpar services. Nowadays, bar control by Mafia members is very common worldwide, and is mainly used for money laundering. Number 3. Pornography The Mafia has long been connected to the production and distribution of pornographic movies, books, and magazines. Members of the American Mafia have been brought up on sex trafficking and prostitution charges. In Europe, the Russian Mafia is said to favor the high profit margins found in sex trafficking enslaved people from economically poor areas in the Ukraine and Romania. The same business makes the Nigerian Mafia, which is spreading throughout Europe, and works with the Italian Mafia, doing business with human trafficking, often via prostitution. In 2005, Gambino family members were brought up on fraud charges for offering free tours of adult websites, then billing extravagant charges to their customers' credit cards. Number 2. Music Recording The music business is particularly appealing to the mob for several reasons, such as all-cash transactions, continual cash flow, cross-selling, and ease of counterfeiting. A handful of prominent names in the music industry have claimed that the connection between the music industry and the Mafia have been overblown. The Mafia has been a force behind some of the best recordings and recording artists of all time. But even as it promised to protect artists, the Mafia would eventually intimidate and extort them too. Starting about 15 years ago, music illegal downloading and file sharing created serious interference with anyone wishing to make a profit from music and the tech giants like Apple, Amazon, Spotify, and ByteDance have assimilated the lion's share of the money in the music industry. There haven't been any recent reports about the mob's involvement in the newer technologies. That said, it's a safe bet that they still have a seat at the table and their hand in the till. Number 1. Gambling From the early days of Las Vegas to the internet age of today, the Mafia has been making big bucks for themselves and their cronies. Gambling or sports betting represents an impressive slice of the criminal economy, estimated to be worth over 200 billion euros a year. The most profitable investment is in slot machines. Each machine has a 30% winning chance. The other 70% is reserved for Mafia bosses. It's also known that the famous Drangheta has some criminal bosses who are involved in drug trafficking but now they have shifted their investments to gambling because it is more profitable and less risky. That was all for this video. If you have any suggestions for our next videos, please feel free to write us in the comments. Till next time, see ya.